Uh, I'm Neeti Palda. I'm here with uh, Manya- Mayanti. Mayanti. Manyata, really? That's how we started. <laughs> I said, no, Mayanti. what day you get I, glass for a living? <laughs> I thought I would stumble over your surname when I opened on the first name. We are keeping this in the edit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> with Mayanti, Mayanti Langer. Yeah. yeah. Got the pronunciation right? Langer. Good enough. Yeah. Langer. Oh, okay. I was Just trying. Just say Bini. It's so much easier. That's why I added the married name. Everyone gets really? Bini right. Okay. Most. No, no. Langer. Langer. Mayanti okay. Langer. We're all for women power here. Oh, so. Still there. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I, by the way, guys. Uh, whatever she says uh, is she's not She's responsible. Her. I'm responsible. And she's not saying it. Because I'm asking her to be inappropriate. So, no one get her in trouble. I'm used to the hate I get. I'll just turn off the comments. Aim it my way. That's fine. <laughs> I'd met, I was actually... have a troll target. Good luck. Anyway, can I, I know. know. You <laughs> have it coming from three directions. <laughs> man. So, I read up on you. You're an army kid. Yes. You're an Aquarian. Yes. Uh, and you consider a woman, uh, sorry, female in an in an unusual yeah. field. Yeah. So basically, you're me. Yeah, just with slightly longer hair. I met somebody finally around this like this studio of goddesses with hair to me here. I'm like the one with the shortest. Finally, I met someone who does have much better hair than I do, but at least mine's like that much longer <laughs> but you do know what's gonna happen once this video goes out people will be like oh Mayanti with Mandira Bedi <laughs> it's gonna happen again reunited I know it <laughs> <laughs> just to clarify she, she she's not Mandira we're just trying to copy Mandira that's all we're trying to I am she's also real bind, yeah. <laughs> I am also not that dangal girl as I was just called off. I thought I did see you in that movie. Damn. Are you sure? <laughs> you look pretty ripped, dude. You look like you could take a few people down. I work, I work, I work, why do you not, think I do? No, we will not mess with you. I'm kids. Unite. What's happening? How so, are you liking this experience, by the way? Walking this into like, the Star Sports Studios, like so many people, so many broadcasters, cricketers just roaming about randomly. So I like cricket and comedy yeah. nahi chala to... Uh, Neeti Balta 9810 beep beep anyway <laughs> cricket is a comedy half the time if you yeah man it, so I and I I don't know I'm like imagine getting paid to watch things and tell people they suck at their work wow <laughs> it's a pretty cool job description that's going on my business card I know I love it so how did you come about being a sports journalist? Yeah, it was complete accident. I was just associated with sports when I was in school. Right. Because I wanted to play sports. I was not good at it. But I still wanted to play sports. <laughs> so continue with your passions and dreams. And I just got involved in like football. So when I was in college, it was ah. just like to make pocket money. I used to help coordinate this girls football league for school kids. Oh, okay. uh, and that got a little bit of media attention. And someone who came to basically take my bite like this said that, you know when this new network had started and said I might know someone who's good in front of the camera possibly also knows their football and I was just in my final year of college I Mm. wanted to do higher studies I wanted to be a graphic designer that's all I knew my entire life and someone just called me saying would you know this audition for a sports channel uh come on down so I went on down and uh, with my bodyguard of a brother because it was in Noida film city didn't know anything Ah. about it so he was just like standing there observing just gave the audition and they literally offered me the job and I wow. got into it with football which is my comfort zone wow took a while to get into cricket but it's been 17 years still doing this you'll be surprised but I have some friends who say ki ha ladki cricket ke baare mein fir bhi bol de football offside hi nahi pata kya hota hai <laughs> I, I used to get asked this question a lot I don't know why do men not understand the offside rule that I have to keep explaining it to them I think they've ratta maroed it so they can pop quiz us yeah okay basic baat to hai always ask that question do you guys you got you you get it right okay you carry on <laughs> so tell me one thing um i was reading you were actually initially rejected several tri- yeah. times from hosting a marquee event right yeah. all, all these marquee yeah. events yeah. but now look at you <laughs> four years in a row that's a pretty four years in a row direction. we are not naming uh, who but uh, <laughs> so what do you want to say to them now uh, because i've done this marquee event now this would be my four, fourth year doing it so it's no nothing really it's just that these things happen you you learn from it because I was continuously rejected and of course that made me more ambitious to say that this is that you know I aim I have but I also learned to be very realistic I'm like sometimes you have to change your goals and in, once I let that go then I was able to enjoy this marquee event which is the IPL as the wife of someone who played 10 years of IPL 
so I got to experience it as a family member and I could you know I don't have to be a neutral broad- broadcaster I can wear my husband's jersey and sit in the stands and cheer his team and be involved in that whole process of you know being part of the family so I got to see both sides of this incredible tournament which I mean I, it all worked out in the end you know so uh, I'll say it for her suck it <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> it's trying to be so polite <laughs> Uh, okay now honestly i've i've also been seeing i mean i know when it's a, a female in an unusual profession yeah, who's yeah. putting herself out there you must be obviously a troll target right yeah I mean, that goes without saying that i mean like married into married a cricketer into that family i mean we just like had it written we still have it written on our back you have it yeah. coming from three directions yeah, seriously so bro. how do you handle trolls i've gotten significantly better over time uh, i think it's you have to learn that it gets very vicious and it gets very personal and as i've gotten older i would hope i've gotten wiser at least when it comes to trolls to understand that it is a relationship that you know we get so much love or adoration on social media so you have to be able to take both of it what we do is what both of us do is essentially it's a visual medium right, right? you are putting yourself out there not everyone's going to like what you do but this is the reason you're doing that because you have the skill and the confidence to be able to pull off something that let's be honest not many people can do unless you're in this situation and this side of the camera with hundreds and thousands <laughs> of people judging you with the pressure of time of doing live you know if you've not been in those shoes i don't judge someone who hasn't been in mine um having said that like recently so recently i've been getting trolled by like this one particular person who might find me interesting enough to actually follow me but every ah. like reel is just like okay you suck i want to see the other broadcaster huh. you know, we're sharing huh. duties and uh, really myself we're sharing duties and so i just had a little fun because he's like oh why are you back i love they're watching they really i'm like yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> i do she's great so i mean you, you got to make fun of yourself be in yes. a situation you It's cannot so take true. yourself seriously and i think that's what i've learned over the years to make fun of that whole situation you know now yeah, i so the most uh, i i remember i also never normally respond to trolls unless yeah. i'm bored and lonely then why not <laughs> <laughs> this guy was like you know comedy newri they say i hope you have other skills i said yeah i can troll takes no talent at all <laughs> good <laughs> 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 So okay Mayanti are you ready to play a game I'm terrified <laughs> about playing this game because this is not something I'm good at which is playing games obviously I talk and coming up with witty things like this she's putting me in a very stressful situation but it's okay let's try And guys there has been no rehearsal as you can see my we very badly no clipped cue cards <laughs> these I've just started 20 seconds before we <laughs> sat down the staple is still there So this is honestly the first take and I'm going to keep every fumble there is in the edit. So guys, uh, also remember this is not Mayanti. This is Mayanti being told to be inappropriate and she's just not being inappropriate. I cannot be. Yeah. We will try some more. Okay. Okay, this is the hashtag round. Okay. I'm going to give you a hashtag and you say the first thing that comes okay. to your mind. Okay. God, this is not going to go down well. Okay. Hashtag I break so many stereotypes that I break so many stereotypes that my heels are cracked from walking on glass ceilings. Ooh, that's so nice. This I'm just because I get trolled for wearing heels as if that's not normal to do. I I tell you these Napoleon complex people, you know. Anyway, hashtag women's representation in sports is so much that it's like we've. I don't know. <laughs> Women's representation in sports is so much. We've run out of rooms to contain them. <laughs> There's just so many women. They're overflowing everywhere. Stop them! Stop the presses! Stop them from coming through the walls. I mean, everyone knows we women hate competition. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just keep them apart. Let we let's not work together. What are you talking about? There's no space for us to work together. Yeah. Uh, getting on to easier it hashtag. has changed though, you know. Of course, you've seen too. how many women have been in this office, sports broadcast, I have. hosting a marquee event. Carry on. <laughs> Finally, it comes out. <laughs> um, Dhoni, so cool that. Ah, uh, Dhoni, so cool that what's Antarctica when Mahi walks out to bat. Oh man, seriously. Can we have a moment here? Can we have a Dhoni moment picture here? <laughs> Sorry, Sakshi. Okay. You know, <laughs> she gets it she, she understands <laughs> i mean yeah um 
IPL is so flashy that IPL is so flashy that what's your Maserati doing back there <laughs> when all the glamour is on the cricket field park it no one cares all right then and this was not aimed at all the delhi and punjabi no Chandi, no of not course not yeah no though you can aim it we'll actually take it as a compliment mm-hmm. as a delhiite as I'm, a delhiite <laughs> yes i want a maserati anything that starts with ma is good for me <laughs> Yes, I know it's not pronounced Maserati. Yeah, jokes explain करनी पड़ती है trolls are we're just welcoming them now at this stage. हाँ हाँ भाई उनको भी तो कुछ काम देना चाहिए right? So okay, now we move to another round, which is basically because you know you keep facing all these inappropriate comments and you have to deal. People don't even know when they are being inappropriate, right? Yeah. Do you do you remember any such instance or something? Yeah, like I mean, so yeah, quite a few. Uh, I'll relate and in- so I I always get the like till today I get the oh, it's so difficult being a woman in broadcast. You have to worry about what you look like. Look, have you seen the guys in the makeup room? I mean, they're hugging the mirror. Like I'm done. I walk out. We, my hair doesn't take any. Her our hair doesn't take any time. Okay, there's all this coiffing and this you know cream and the styling and the blow drying. And the worst, and this I'm being really serious. But the worst is I've actually been like patted on my head by this really well known male broadcaster who's like, oh, I feel so sorry for you. Just like. Waiting in between overs and watching the game, I'm like, yeah, like the rest of the twenty five thousand people here who are just sitting between wow. overs and watching the game. Oh, poor me! It, it's happened. So That's basically, he was insecure. Why? Why are you not eating? Because I was hosting. Yeah, <laughs> he see, it's that one. Sure. Uh, Leave talk- it to you to guess who that was. <laughs> <laughs> not Indian. Not Indian. There you go. I gave you a clue. Huh? That, I'm, okay, I won't leave it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting that out of me. <laughs> Off cam, I will. I will. <laughs> So okay, this round is called the most inappropriate thing to say. Again, remember, it's not Mayanti saying it; it's the most inappropriate to th- thing to say um, while lifting a trophy. I'm sorry, did your ego weigh you down while you were lifting it? <laughs> the most inappropriate thing to say in a commentary box. Oops, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it got the people here behind laughing. I don't even know it wasn't that funny. Let you imagine. Well, now we know why all of them were coming out with that sarno. <laughs> like, uh, okay, the most inappropriate thing to say while interviewing a player. While interviewing a player. Um... <laughs> no, okay. So actually, it's a relevant question because people ask it all the time, and I still don't understand how we do this. So that was a really terrible loss. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> we still ask that question. <laughs> Are you asked to ask that question? No, but we're not supposed to. We we should just be like, okay, so that wasn't the greatest day. What can you tell? You know, you should keep frame it How better. How are you feeling? That was a terrible loss. How are you feeling? Or oh, you got out really early. How are you feeling? Your that, mommy I, was right. You should have concentrated more on studies. I think that's pretty inappropriate. Like, what are they supposed to say? I feel great. It's never gonna happen anyway. That'd be fun though. Okay, most inappropriate thing. Uh, That a third umpire can say. Uh, uh, well, apparently these days to cricketers that's out. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the footage again. Roll it back. No, little bit to the left, little to the right. It doesn't sound good. It really doesn't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you put a filter to it, it really doesn't sound good. Yeah. Okay. I think third umpire is pretty inappropriate if we take it out of context. Anyway. All right. Yeah. Last thing. Um, do you want? To be inappropriate on someone else's behalf? No. <laughs> What are you making me do? <laughs> As in, you know, like you can raise it yourself. Don't Most inappropriate to thing to say as man of the match. Um. <laughs> Most inappropriate thing to say as player of the match. We have to do that now. Oh yeah. We are sorry. gender neutral now. Um. Yeah. They really did suck. I was great. <laughs> I smashed them to oblivion. Yeah, imagine if someone walked out there and actually said that. They're so diplomatic these days. Yeah. yeah, guys, this is this is what we want to see behind the scenes we'll and on it. the screen. Yeah. So, uh, hoping that soon we will allow for more jokes everywhere. You are interviewing cricketers as well, right? Because we have a lot of them roaming around. Let's see if we can get this replicated from them. Absolutely, them I have tougher questions for them. Oh, good. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Just because I can. <laughs> Thanks so much. No, Mike. it was a lot of fun. Thank, Thank you. you so much for taking out the time. Thank you.